Hey, this is Kevin from 3D Printed Props. In this video, we're going to do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to show you how I create the thumbnails for the videos here on the channel. And I love doing this. Um, I was, uh, it was and technically am a graphic designer and a photographer for a number of years. And this part is just as fun as making the prop and uh, or costume or mask and uh, editing the video, all that. Uh, I love this part right here. And the thing I try to do is keep just like you keep your, your cosplay consistent, if you're working on a character, you keep your colors consistent, you keep your uh, the motifs of the outfit or the, the prop or the costume consistent. Same thing with the YouTube thumbnails. So what do I mean by that? The uh, If you notice some of the, the Infinity Orb thumbnails I did, they all have the same look to them. Uh, a lot of the Star-Lord ones have the same look. I'm using the same font, I'm using the same colors, I'm using the same sort of basic graphic uh, elements in the uh, thumbnails. This one's going to look a little different from those because it's a little bit of a different um, project. So, th And it's actually a little sneak peek into the next thing, or one of the next things I'm going to be doing. Uh, so let's go ahead and do this. Now, I start with uh, Photoshop, of course, as to what I use. You can use whatever you use. Uh, image size, the standard image size for... YouTube and RGB, of course, because uh, we don't want to be using uh, CMYK because monitors are RGB. If you notice over here in my layers, I have everything in order. So here's a folder. All the elements that made up that thumbnail are right there. I click on it. It's right there. Same thing here. It's there. I can just go down the line if I need to re-export them at all, and I can print them out or I can use them on another, another graphic for something, they're right there. So here's the new one. Yep, Mr. Robot. I love that show. Now, for this, uh, you know, just like the other cosplay things, I look for colors and fonts and whatnot I can use. So um, I'm going to look for a little bit of a uh, reference here. And I like that. I like the black this is interesting. Of course, the font. I love the Mr. Robot font. We can use that somehow. And I think I know what I want to do here. I want to keep this look and I want to keep this style. So let's go ahead and start this. Uh, I'm going to uh, create a new layer and I'm going to fill it black. Then I think I'm going to start with adding Mr. Robot. Okay, that obviously does not look like the Mr. Robot font. What I did do, though, and I've done that, I did this before I started the video, and it's in here someplace, Mr. Robot. Now, where did I get this? I did a quick search, and I found it on Defont. So it's a site called uh, Defont, and they've got um, just all kinds of crazy fonts uh, and neat fonts like this. So it's white. I don't want it to be white. Let's, I should have left that file open, but let's open that file back up. And let's um, sample this red color. And we can get rid of that until we need it again. Now I can select Mr. Robot, and this is red, so I can sort of do this, and then it'll fill that red. There's some other ways you can do it, but that's the way I'm going to do it. This is also a little bit too spread out, the, the uh, letting on this, so uh, or the kerning on this, so I'm going to go to my view, or my window, jeez. Not enough coffee today. But is there ever, can there ever be enough coffee? I don't think so. So let's go ahead and go to our character, and it's already at 200. Let's bring it back down to zero. I must have been using it for something else. So I'm just adjusting my letting because that's how it is on their site or their sort of look. So I've already got something that's looking pretty cool, looking like a Mr. Robot thing. Now I want to use that, you know, our, that's it, our democracy has been hacked. I want to do something like that. So I, I chose the type tool. I click here. I want it to sort of fill this area. And let's see, what should we do? Let's do something like this. Oh, 
Okay, now that's obviously too big, so I, I put my little cursor in here. I do select all, and I think I'm going to use Bebus or Bebus, however you say it, and regular. And it's a little too big, so I'm going to cut the size down and bring it down a little bit more. We can all, we'll be changing all this. Oh, I see what's happening. Let's look over here again. Uh, my letting is off, so let me bring it back to auto so it moves everything correctly. Now, if I remember correctly, this R was thin. That might be too thin. Let's do book. There we go. This was bold. Let's make it bold. I believe this was thin. Or th or we're, gonna, we're making it um, book. And this, again, was bold. So let's take a look at that one more time. I don't know why I don't just leave that open. Yeah, has been, and that's bold. It's not as bold. Um, that font doesn't have a very bold uh, font to it, so I might change that. Let's let's try something else. Maybe League Gothic. Although I don't like how that that doesn't really do it. Let's go back to that. And actually, so I don't have to fix that. Let's do this. Okay. So we've got this going on now, and this is not red. We want it to be white. So I'm just going to flip the color. And let's select it all and go 24. And since it's, let's see. Gonna make this thirty six. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll make those. Now we have to fool around with our letting here, and let's bring it to eighteen. It was way too much. Twenty four, a little bit more. Thirty. That's not too bad. So we'll do that. And then we'll make this, what size is this? 36. And again, it's all about consistency. So I'm going to make that a 36 as well. That's going to drop it down. But we can do this to get it back. And then we can come in here and select these two and go to 30 again. And that brings that in there. That might actually be a little too tight. Let's go 27, 25. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> 32, yeah, that's uh, 33. This is where we call getting way too nitpicky with a thumbnail. 33. There, I like that. So, this is what I mean by consistency. This right here has the same sort of feel that you get with Mr. Robot, because it's just like their posters. Now we need to add something over here, some type of element over here. <laughs> That's terrifying, right? So let's go ahead now and do some selection here. So we're going to select me from the background. And for that, I use the pen tool. And this takes a little getting used to, uh, but I had a job where I had to, for a while, trace the uh, machine parts. Oh my goodness, it was boring. The key to using the pen tool is when you click to move in the direction that you want to go. So if I want to go here, I pull here, I close it off by using clicking on option, and then I see I move in the direction I want to go a little bit so that my lines sort of match where I want to be. Oops, I thought I had another. Oh, <laughs> we'll just do this because I re actually realized I don't need my face or this coat anyway. So I've made the selection. I go over to the, the uh, paths 
and I click on this to make it a just an actual path. I hold down Command and click, and it's selected my face. Now what I can do is, and this is a good idea, is to um, modify your selection and to contract it a little bit in case you were off a little bit. You don't contract it by two pixels. And it just moves in a little bit. You can see how it's in on the hat a little bit. And just in case I was off a tad here and there. Now I can go back to layers and copy that. And then come over and I can get rid of it. I will save it for the heck of it. So I don't have to do that again if I, in case I make a mistake. I'm back here, Mr. Robot. I hit paste. It's going to be huge. And we do Command T or Control T to no Command to shrink that down. And you can see how I accidentally I didn't really need to copy that part there, my code. <laughs> so um, what we're going to do is just quickly erase that. Okay. And that's looking a little bit okay, but it's a little bit harsh. Uh, I didn't feather it enough. So let's go ahead and choose the blur tool over here and widen it out so it's pretty big. And then just run it over these edges just to soften everything up. Now you can't see those really harsh, harsh edges. And now you might be saying it still looks a little strange. Well, A, I didn't photograph it right. It should have been black and everything. So let's go ahead and add, choose our, I don't know why I'm blanking out here, choose our paintbrush. Because I work with multiple different versions of Photoshop. <laughs> now I made a new layer over here. And I'm going to pick some black up and bring this brush up quite a bit and I'm just painting so it looks like part of me is in shadow like I'm coming out of the shadow I think there now you might be saying you just copied over you painted over Mr. Robot no if you look at the layer the paint is above the font so let's just move all those fonts up and that's it. That is going to be the actual thumbnail for the Mr. Robot cosplay, and that's coming out pretty soon. And uh, I'm pretty happy with it. I like it. <laughs> and you might have guessed I'm not actually doing Elliot. I'm doing the uh, other person in the show. So here you go. This is how you do it. Now, I would then export this or just save it as a JPEG, and I always name it what the video is. So if it's Mr. Robot cosplay, that's what the file will be. Um, I don't know if that helps uh, with your you know, standings as far as search in YouTube, but I like to do it A for just neatness sake and I, so I can find it. And now again, here's Mr. Robot folder. It's all right there. When I want to create another one, I make a new folder. So that's it. That's how I create a thumbnail for the 3D Printed Props channel. Now if you like this video, go ahead and hit like and go ahead and um, subscribe. we got a lot of cool stuff coming out, a lot of stuff I'm really excited about. And again, thanks for watching the video. Take it easy.